So in the earlier lecture, I talked about collision. Now in this lecture, I'm going to talk about very important concept. It is the laboratory frame of reference and center of mass frame of reference. And uh, they are sometimes known as uh, laboratory and center of mass system. And we are also familiar with a very important term. That is the coordinate system. So but before talking about the frame of reference, First of all, let me talk about the coordinate system because coordinate system is a system or uh, in simple language, a in simple language, I can say that generally we talk about coordinate system system which is used to describe position of a point in space so let us take an example say in some room an insect is flying and say this insect is at point P at a particular time so to describe the position of this insect at a particular time, what is needed, we have to take a fixed point. And with respect to this fixed point, I can make observation that along x-axis and along y-axis and along z-axis, at which point this insect is lying. So what is the distance of this insect from this fixed point along x-axis and then along y-axis, right? So that's what I will do. And what is along the z-axis, right? So if I consider a one room and taking one corner as the origin, because this fixed point is known as origin, this is the origin, this fixed point, this is the origin, and with respect to this, I can make observation. This is just for the sake of convenience. We can take origin at, as per our convenience, and this is a very important point. Right? You can even take uh, origin in the center of the room also, or you can take one corner. But it's easier to consider origin at the one corner. Right? And uh, similarly, we can take origin when we design a building. So the idea of the origin and the coordinate system is a very uh, important idea. And uh, this idea of the coordinate system is used to describe the position of a point in space, right? So, and in general, the, this P point, this is the observation point, and this is generally represented by P, X, Y, and Z. And say it is the position vector of this uh, uh, insect in the room. But in general, our systems are a dynamic system and position keep on changing with time. So that means if you talk about frame of reference, If 
we talk about frame of reference then this frame of reference it's a broader sense of of coordinate system means in the coordinate in the sorry in the frame of reference we talk about position and along with we also talk about the time so that means both position and time when we are talking about both position and time then such a system is known as the frame of reference so that means for a frame of reference say if it is the observation point and in the coordinate system we talk about x y z but here we will talk about time also then this is known as the frame of reference right so this is a very interesting idea so it means a coordinate system system along with time along with time measuring device or in other words i can say that a coordinate system with clock is called frame of reference right so this is a very simple definition and what type of frame of reference we are choosing that depends upon us and the problem and what type of problem we are dealing with so if we have to deal with the rigid bodies and in case of rigid bodies if we take origin of frame of reference origin of frame of reference in the laboratory the what it means a place where from where we can make observations or another choice with that otherwise we will take the origin of frame of reference lying at the center of the mass then if we take origin of the frame of reference at the center of mass then we call this as center of mass frame of reference and if we will take lavatory as the origin of the frame of reference then this is known as laboratory frame of reference this is a very simple definition or simple idea of these two so if you try to look at this geometrically say it is a rigid body and it is another rigid body if we take frame of reference at the center of mass and if we will take origin at the laboratory frame of in the laboratory then position of this point is r in the laboratory frame of reference but in the center of mass frame of reference this r will be equal to 0 because i am considering it at the origin and it doesn't affect our results it simply uh, slightly changes the mathematical formula sometimes and so this is all about laboratory frame of reference and the center of mass frame of reference now 
in the next lecture that's all for this lecture and in the next lecture i will talk about elastic collision in one dimension in the laboratory frame of reference so that's all for this lecture